So today we are going to go over some quick refreshers uh, in regards to a couple of things. I think we're going to do uh, the channel rack review, piano roll review, how to bring up FL keys, how to bring up GMS, how to bring up flex and how to export an MP3. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and open up FL Studio. Let me turn on one of these speakers so I can hear what's going on. OK, so as you can see right now, I have a channel rack. This is the channel rack that we were uh, playing around with in class. It is modeled after a uh, drum machine which we talked about in class, uh, the Lin drum machine, L-I-N-N, -N, or the, um, the MPC-808, or the Roland drum machine. By selecting one of these, you can get a common drum pattern. This one's the floor on the floor. Um, in addition to that, we can, let's see. So if you wanted to uh, open up FL keys, you're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign at the bottom of the channel rack, click on FL keys. All right. We can play the keys that way. You can change the piano between the toggle here and if you want to make notes on the FL keys, you hit piano roll. You're going to right click FL keys, click piano roll. And like we did in class, you can go A, B, C, D. OK, and if you need to uh, change the grid inside of the piano roll, just go ahead and click the magnet here. And you can change it to beat. Uh, you could change it to step and you'll get smaller ones, smaller boxes. If you change it to a fourth, they'll actually be even smaller, even though you can't see it. Sixth is different. Uh, we didn't go over that in class, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, if you switch it to bar, then it'll just be a whole note. So we did talk about that whole notes, half notes, quarter notes eighth notes, all those different things. So in this instance, I just have it set to beat. And then you can play it that way. You can hit the uh, four on the floor, four on the floor for the 808 and put it on. This is your playlist. You click on this uh, first box to get your playlist and you can drag one in there and click song. OK, so another thing that we covered in class, if ever you want to like start over completely, you can click File, New from Template, Minimal, and then Basic 808. You don't need to save it. So if I wanted to open GMS, hit the plus sign down there, click on GMS. And if you want to browse the sounds of GMS, you hit right over here where it says Program. In this bottom right hand corner, you can select different sounds. And you can hit the uh, keys to uh, preview what the sound sounds like. And you can use GMS in the piano, in the piano roll just like, uh, just like the FL keys. OK, and if you want to open up Flex, click the plus sign, click on Flex. And then you can just click these sounds to hear something different. And you can click on these different packs here to hear different sounds. All right. And the 
the other thing that we did talk about was manipulating sound. So if you wanted to play with the sound, you can just turn these knobs inside of here and get different reactions. See, now it's a bass. Oh. Excuse me. We talked about attack, so I can change the attack on here. And release. And that's pretty much it. If you like what you have, you can click file, click export, MP3 file, and then save wherever you like. This is just going to be demo video. <clears throat> and then just click, uh, oh, you want to make sure that you click song up top. So before you do that, if you didn't do it, you can change it right here in the rendering box from pattern over to full song. And that'll take down what we uh, put into the playlist. Click start. And there you go. It'll show up on your desktop if that's where you saved it. See, video demo. And then I could drag that back into the program if I wanted to use it again at a later time. Uh-oh, that didn't save how I wanted it to. I must not have put what I wanted in there. So let's go back. I'm going to click on the piano here to make sure I can see the pattern. Now I'm having fun. So that's what, what I wanted to be exported. Click export, click MP3, and we'll try that again, desktop. I'll do demo video to for my MP3. Make sure it sets a full song. Click start. There you go. So if I want to hear it inside of FL Studio, I can drag that sound right back in and look at what we got. I'm going to solo this by right clicking. OK. And so for homework, I just want you guys to add something to that playlist where you're doing a drum pattern, where you're doing melody, and uh, send me the MP3 file to my email address for this particular class. And that's going to be on your syllabus. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow.